And another thing that Claire is doing here is that she is thinking about matching her step with Selena's step. Um, and it can be a little bit tricky at times. Um, she slowed down there nicely to help Selena to match. And sometimes it can be difficult until you get a rhythm. But it's the rhythm that we're looking for. And we're looking for the two of them to be in rhythm together. And that will match the rhythm of the breathing that Claire sets. And when you're in the saddle, this comes through in the sit bones. So your seat bones are connected to the hind legs. And you breathe to the rhythm of the hind leg and um, that sets the rhythm for you and your horse. So it then becomes possible to increase the speed of the horse or by um, in increasing the rhythm of your breathing. So going to a two, three or a three, four breath or to slow your horse by going to a five, six or a six, seven. So you've got a tool that you're developing to help the horse really tune into your breathing and actually change what they do to match it. So one really good way of setting that up is to match on the ground here your front steps with the horse's front steps. And this comes out of the principle called follow, match, lead. And it means we start off when we want to create something. We start off where our horse is and we follow the horse and we keep in time with the horse. And then once that's really solid and your horse is beginning to understand um, that it is rewarding to keep pace with you, your horse will start matching you and you and your horse become matched and it's a lovely, lovely um, feeling of connection because both of you are invested in matching each other's steps. That's when it starts to be really like dancing. But then in dancing, we always have a leader and a follower and obviously um, as the rider, most of the time we want to be the leader. So what will happen is once you've gone through the match stage, then you can start to lead your horse's movement and lead your horse's pace. And you do this through um, the breath in your sit bones, the breath, uh, the, the rhythm of the breath, and through your seat bone to hind leg connection. And it's, it's quite amazing. So this is the really good ground practice for you, the two of you to learn, first of all, for you to follow the horse's action, and then for the horse to learn to match her action to yours and you can see that since the beginning they've been getting more and more matched and there they had a little hesitation but now they're immediately matched up together so in the last couple of weeks as Claire has practiced this she's gone from having to follow Selena which meant she had to speed up and slow down and speed up and slow down to the two of them getting much more to a matched stage and so soon she'll be able to to lead Selena in this and that was a start where she was just slightly leading her there as they set off so that was a really nice demonstration of it and there they are lovely in synchrony and it helps the horses to connect with us and um, it's actually a very natural behavior for horses to move in synchrony like that with their bond mate so it, it's really uh, working on the innate being of a horse who will match their pace to their bond mates very closely. There, nice, lovely, lovely demonstration, Claire.